So, what's in my camera bag? What's up YouTube, it's your boy DJ Expect, back with another video. I, as you all know, I'm a photographer, I do YouTube, I do my girls content, I do my content, and people always ask me, what is in my camera bag? What do I carry on a daily basis? So I have two pretty much setups. If I'm just doing photography and no videos, I have everything in my camera bag is the same except the gimbal. If I'm doing some videos, I am using my gimbal. Disclaimer actually, I need to get a new gimbal because my gimbal cannot carry my RF lens 85. So I need a new gimbal. I need to um, upgrade it, um, but I need to sell my gimbal. So if anybody's interested in buying my gimbal, DM me, <laughs> but yeah. So let's get right into it. So what's in my camera bag? First of all, what bag am I using? I'm using a Manfrotto. I'm not sure the actual name of this bag. I'll link it in the bio. Um, but I'm using a Manfrotto medium size bag. Three sizes of this bag. I'm using the medium format one. The large format one, I do like. I don't think I'll need to upgrade it because I'm pretty good with this setup that I have. But the large bag is great, but it was just a little bit too heavy. Um, just for the bag by itself. Um, but the medium bag was perfect. Like I said, it'll be in the bio for the exact price. But yeah, this is the Manfrotto bag. I love this bag. One of the best features of this bag is a little raincoat the bag comes with. So let's take this out. Yep, comes with a little raincoat. I literally put it over the bag. It makes the bag pretty much waterproof. Even if the bag does get wet, there's some water resistance, but nothing's better than like a whole raincoat. It's just a plain black raincoat. I love it. This is probably one of the best features of this bag. Another thing comes with these little side latches, which is perfect. I'm able to, honestly, I put my tripod in here. Uh, open this strap real quick. I put my tripod in here, strap it up, put it in a little sleeve that it comes with, and I'm ready to go with my tripod. If I'm going photography as well, I also bring my flash stand. So there's another strap on the other side. I'm able to put my tripod and my flash stand all in one bag. So that's great. Of course, it makes the bag a little bit heavier, but if you need to go with one and one and gun type of shot, that's perfect. Also comes with a lock um, on the bag. As you can tell, I haven't even opened the lock, but it comes with the lock. Um, I probably should probably use the lock more often. Um, but honestly, the bag's always with me. Um, and if I'm in a out in the public, for the most part, I'm wearing the bag while I'm taking my shots, so the bag is never really by itself. But I probably should use the lock now I think about it because I keep an air tag in my bag. If my bag, God forbid, would ever get stolen, I guess the lock would definitely be something to slow them down while I'm trying to locate my bag using my air tag. But that's, anywho, that's beside the point. But yeah, there's a lock, there's a little compartment to keep the lock right here. It actually says lock on it. So that's a great feature of this bag. The bag also has chest straps. Um, kind of does help because this bag is getting kind of heavy between the RF lenses, <laughs> um, which are pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, this bag is kind of heavy, so the chest strap does help. Um, I like this, I guess this is mesh padding. I'm not really too sure, but honestly, it keeps my back cool. Got a little separation between my skin and the bag. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is a great bag. The best pickup. I mean, as you can see, you probably think this bag is brand new. Um, I've had this bag now for... Ooh, at least six months and I use it every day. Um, even my photo shoot people are like, oh, you just put your bag on the ground. Honestly, I put this bag on the ground. I put it everywhere and as you can tell, there's like no scratches and it's in like great condition. So very sturdy bag. Now let's get right into the bag. Oh my God, I honestly, I can make, make a video about the bag itself. I probably should actually. Yeah, I pretty much give up with all the details of the bag. But <laughs> yeah, so this is the bag. Um, I got, like I said, I think this is one, one of my best pictures. <laughs> Let's open the bag. So of course, the camera is not in the bag because I'm using the camera to film this. Um, the camera I shoot on is the Canon R5. I will need to upgrade that camera soon. Um, the camera's about two years old now. I've got pretty good work out of it, but I want to. I might want to upgrade it because I need more video out of it. Um, because I'm getting into the more higher content, the more professional type of videos, and I kind of need my camera not to overheat and also to um, shoot more for and probably more 8K videos soon, shortly in the next couple years. But for the average person, you, you don't need to shoot 8K. The lens that I'm shooting on with also is usually my bag, but right now I'm shooting with it is the Canon RF 50. Um, all my lenses are RF because I did not feel the need to buy an extra adapter. And of course, the RF lenses are better than the EF lenses. Next, I keep in my camera bag my Canon battery charger. I do have another charger, which I will be taking on my international trips because it has an international um, setup for it. Um, but yeah, this is just a regular camera charger that comes with it. Um, I just picked this up. This is the Bag Mod um, 
do you call these? Soft boxes for your flash assistant top. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little setup. Nice and soft, nice and squishy. This was $110. <sighs> I'm still trying to justify using it because this weekend I honestly got a lot of good pictures without using this. Um, probably because my flash is also pretty good top notch. Next, we have, like I said, when I'm shooting photo shoots, I usually take my AD 400 Godox flash. Um, this is the trigger that comes with it. Um, why I kept the trigger tape on it, I don't know. I just like doing that, but yeah, that's, that's the trigger that comes with it. Um, this was about, I think, $60 two AA batteries. Next is, like I said, I have a really good Canon flash. Um, this is my Canon 43EX3RT speed light. That's what it's called, speed light. Um, but yeah, this is a great speed light. Like I said, I bought the Magma to see, hopefully maybe add another level of dynamic to my pictures. And honestly, I did not see a huge difference. Um, but yeah, this is my speed light. It is great. Only downside is that it's battery operated. Next is, let's go into my lenses. So this is the first lens I bought with this camera. I think there's, there is a YouTube video on this lens. This is the Canon RF 24-70 lens. <laughs> As you can tell, it zooms in and out. This is my go-to lens for everything at this point when I'm shooting um, events. This is, I'm able to zoom in and out. I'm able to get close. I'm able to, to get far. Um, I love this lens. Um, I'm a, I'm, what can I say, I'm a bokeh, I'm a bokeh fanatic, um, and the 2.8 is just not enough, um, so if Canon can come out with a 2.0, what, no, there is a 2.0 actually, in the 28 to 70, but even if, even like more, like 1.8, I don't know if that's physically possible, but if they can come out with like a 1.8 or 1.2 in a variable zoom lens, oh, that'd be great. But yep, 24 to 70. Next is honestly my favorite lens of them all. This is the Canon EOS. Wait, I don't think EOS is in the name. But this is the Canon 85 millimeter lens. As you can tell, this lens is a freaking beast. 24 to 70, and this thing is huge. It's heavy. Like I said, this is probably my most, this is my most heaviest lens. And I cannot get this on a gimbal. Um, my gimbal just won't balance with this lens on. Um, but this is my go-to lens. If anybody wants to know what lens I'm using, how do I get those crazy depth of fields, it's because of this lens. Um, oh, it comes with a sun hood that I never really use, but I saw somewhere that you can use this as kind of protection. God forbid this lens were to fall. Um, so I, I just keep, just keep, keep it on. But this is my favorite lens. Uh, next in my camera bag, yeah, I guess we can go to my gimbal. Oh, just some other stuff. I have more lens, lens caps. Trust me, you can never have enough of these. I have a key. I just for me, for some reason, this is just the easiest way. I like to uh, tighten my gimbal knot or my camera to my tripod. Just a random key. I don't. I'm not even sure what this key is for. Nope. Next is my gimbal pieces. So this is the bottom of my gimbal attachment. This is the part that connects to the camera. And then here's the gimbal, whoops, and then, oh yeah. This is the rail that connects the camera to the gimbal. And here is my gimbal. This is the our DJI Ronin SC2 uh, gimbal. Um, like I said, it's a it's a great gimbal, but it just cannot balance my 85. And I really want to balance my 85, so much so that I have actually used this in a while. So I will be putting this up for sale if anyone's interested in buying this. Um, I mean, it's in perfect condition. Like I said, I haven't really used it that much. Um, because I love my 85 and I always want to balance and I want to balance my 85 and I need to get the, I believe it's the R, is this the, yeah, I believe it's the S2, I believe is the one that can carry a heavier payload. So I want to upgrade this. But yeah, this is my gimbal. And then next we come into the compartments of the bag. There's a laptop sleeve. Um, I don't really use a laptop right now. I'm going to get a MacBook Air, but because I have the, um, Mac Studio, it's like perfect. In my sleeves, I have batteries. I have carry three batteries. I need more, honestly, but I carry three batteries. Um, but just two Canon batteries, as many of you may know. The gold one, the battery with the little gold strip right here, are the best batteries for the R camera lenses. I have a standard lens, a standard battery that came with the older cameras, and trust me, that thing just dies quickly. So get you one of these. They're like seventy dollars a piece. Not cheap, but. They're worth it. Next is, like I said, more gimbal attachments. This is the Type C connector that connects my camera to my gimbal. This to the side. Um, uh, next is cases for my SD cards. Or oh, this is actually a CF CF Express case. Um, 
This is for, oh, this is for my small rig. I just keep this in here. This is, this stays on my, actually the small rig stays on my camera the entire time. And that's what helps me get vertical videos and horizontal videos and by and using the same tripod. Um, it's on my camera right now, actually I can't even show you. But it's a small rig, L mount. I think it's like $40. Um, but yeah, it's just a little tag that came with it. Like I said, I keep a tri uh, keep an air tag. Also, um, I use this little connector cable to connect USB, um, not USB, SD cards to my phone if I want to just do a quick upload. So that stays in there. Oh, and then I have just two more SD cards. Um, I'm using CF Express currently um, as my go-to stuff because CF Express is just better for the R5. Um, but I'm using CF Express, but these are just two standard SD cards. 120, I think they're both 128. Yeah, both 128 gigs. So I have four SD card, four cards, two CF Expresses and two SDs. As y'all know, the CF Express is not cheap, so I think they're like 150 a pop. And what else is in my bag? Uh, another random USB Type C charger, and this one is for. Oh, this one's for my hard drive. That is about it, guys. I think there's nothing else in here. Um, let's check this front pocket just to make sure. I don't have to keep anything in here. Maybe another charger. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This this thing right here. Oh, the, what is this called again? Um. Oh, the VND Extreme Filter. Oh, my God. This is amazing. I can't believe I almost forgot about this. So this is, I put this on my 85. Um, so basically when I'm shooting in bright sunlight and I want to have my crazy 1.2 depth of field, um, I need to put this on. And basically this is just like sunglasses for my lens. Um, as people might know, the fixed lenses bring in more light than the zoom lenses. So they're not able to shoot in bright sunlight um, without being overly exposed. So this is basically like, I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> this is basically like sunglasses for my lens. Um, but yeah, this is the best, honestly, one of my best thing about. This was not cheap and I'm kind of mad that I almost forgot about it. This was like 300 bucks by itself. Um, but yeah, that is my camera bag. There's nothing else in this bag. I have empty this bag out. Um, with, like I said, this bag is lighter. <laughs> Still pretty heavy, but honestly it's sturdy. Honestly, in, in trying to make this video, I dropped the bag on the floor and I felt completely fine because uh, this bag is the best, honestly, probably, besides the camera, this is probably the second best, most important feature that I bought. Um, also on my camera, I have a Peak quick release um, camera strap. That's what I carry with my lens. I don't use a Canon lens because I'm constantly switching between tripod, handheld, and I need something to, to be quick. And also with the gimbal, you cannot use a gimbal and use the camera strap on it. So I'm using the Peak camera strap. Again, that'll be in the bio. Everything into this video is in the bio. So yeah, guys, this is my video. I try to keep it quick, straight to the point. Hope you guys love this video. Hope, please like, comment, subscribe. I will post a TikTok of this video, so follow me on TikTok as well. And yeah, this is a quick, what's in my camera bag, what do I shoot with? So I will holler at you guys in the next video. Holler at your boy, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.